Here's what's happening on Junos Connect. Is the simple firewall a thing of the past? We'll show you how Juniper is converging network security technologies onto a single platform. Plus, it may not be option for the next hit movie, but the new Juno security book may just save your career. The book's authors will be here to show us how this hands-on guide to deploying, configuring, and operating SRX may also get you certified. Hi, I'm Kara Suboy. Welcome to Junos Connect, your one-stop video source for all things Junos. Let's start with what's happening around Juniper. We've just created a dedicated Junos automation slash scripting board. Post your questions and converse with your colleagues about all things automation and scripting. Check out the new board at forums.juniper.net. We need your help to win the B2B supporting category in the 2010 Forrester Groundswell Awards for JNet Mobile. The Groundswell Awards recognize companies for excellent and effective use of social technologies to advance an organizational goal. Visit the awards site to rate and provide comments about JNet Mobile and help us grab that prize. Also, be sure to take a look at our networking and security blog series. The articles are penned by members of our security team on a variety of topics, from cryptography to security trends. There's a new one weekly, so be sure to visit often. Can one single security platform replace a dizzying array of security tools? Find out, coming up next. Looking for answers to questions about Juniper products? Join JNet and tap into the collective knowledge of a global community. Find solutions from Juniper users, experts, and Juno certified engineers. Register for your free user account and join the conversation from your mobile or your computer. Go to the link on your screen to sign up now. Welcome back to Junos Connect, your video source for all things Junos. I'm Kara Suboy. We mentioned earlier that emerging cyber threats are forcing network security tools to keep pace. Joining us today is Oliver Tavacoli, CTO of the SLT Business Group, to talk to us about managing this barrage of threats. Welcome, Oliver. Thank you, Kara. It's impossible to pick up a newspaper and not see stories about cyber threats. What technology is best able to deal with these new threats? So the interesting thing in looking at the technology view of security is that um, if you look back five years ago, um, we used to have things like stateless firewalls and then stateful firewalls and then IDPs and IPSs. And at any given point in time, each of these technologies was going to be the solution to the world's problem. So about the only thing I can say is that about this area is that three years from now, the technologies that we'll have will be different. The threats will be different. And the interesting thing is that none of the security defenses that we come up with, these technologies that we come up with, ever disappear. Sure. So we just get a proliferation of more and more different kinds of security that we can apply to problems. Absolutely. I mean, with more threats, we need more tools. But is this proliferation a bad thing, to have too many options out there? The bad thing would be if we implemented just a bunch of silos and had ind individual products that were not really coordinated. Mm -hmm. If you think about this in the, in the um, uh, virtualization space in data centers, what's basically happened is that they came to the conclusion a while back that rather than having a special purpose server for this kind of application and a special purpose server for that kind of an application, that they would rather have just compute capacity and storage capacity and memory, and they would want to put any kind of application on any one of those things. And so in many ways, I think we have to take lessons in our industry from that as well, that rather than building very special purpose devices that can do only one thing, we really need to build generic security processing capacity and be able to run any one of these technologies on that. So if you do this consolidation, can you argue that you get a deeper um, level of security from them? Yes, because um, fundamentally, uh, Security is all about connecting the dots, right? So if you, if you know something in one place, being able to carry it to a different place um, and connect the fact that these are referring to the same flow, to the same application, is extremely important. And what you can do, certainly if, they, if these technologies collapse onto a single box, that coordination is extremely easy. That's not to say that you can't handle this problem if they're on disparate boxes, but it, you make it far easier from a management perspective to do it when it's on a single box. So we've talked about the theory and the reasons behind all this. How does all of this consolidation talk relate to Juniper products? So if you, if you look at the products that we've announced over the past couple of years, we purposefully don't call them firewalls or IPS devices yeah. or web application firewalls. What we basically call them are 
multi-service gateways. And what we're really referring to when we say a multi-service gateway like SRX is that on that machine you have a certain amount of networking capacity, a certain amount of building blocks for security, and then you have software. And that software can be one thing today, it can be something entirely different tomorrow. Sure. And so as the threat evolution moves along, mm -hmm. as we look two years ahead and three years ahead, we can provide you with new software. You don't have to buy a new box. You just get new software that does an entirely different thing than, than you might have imagined when you bought the box in the first place. Flexibility and scalability. Yep. Great. Thank you so much for your time, Oliver. For more information, you can visit Juno Central. Don't go away. Next up, we'll show you how a new security book can be a big boost to your career. The new network is going to demand a new kind of IT professional. It's going to demand your creativity, your vision, your knowledge. Junos will be the platform for new network innovation, and it'll be more important than ever to keep pace. Getting Junos certified is going to give you the skills you need. It'll help you see your new network vision through. It'll set you apart from the competition. Juniper's Fast Track program is designed to help you get started at your convenience. The new network is about you. Welcome back to Juno's Connect. I'm Kara Suboy. It goes without saying, cybersecurity remains a challenge for any organization. Joining us today are Rob Cameron and Patricio Giacco. They're the authors of a new book, Juno's Security. And before we start, guys, uh, do you want to tell us who the other three authors were that worked on this project with you? Yes, we work with another two Juniper employees, Brad Woodberg and James Quinn, as well as a non-Juniper employee that has experience working with uh, Juno's. Tim Eberhard. And let's start by you guys telling us the motivation for writing this book. Why do you want to do it? Well, we thought that the timing was right. Um, there's plenty of documentation on traditional uh, Juniper network routers, but this is the first time that Juniper gets into a security market with the Juniper operating system. So um, we thought that there weren't uh, enough documents uh, tailored to the security market explaining how to use Juno space devices. And all, all of the people from our team, you know, Brad, myself, James, Tim, we've all worked with the products and are experts. So we've deployed these products more than most people ever will. Mm -hmm. And so what we wanted to do is take that experience and take it beyond just normal documentation how to, but actually how people use this in the real world and real world experience around the product. And that'll provide the user with more of than how do I just type this command, but how this was actually done in the real production environments that they're. Uh, that are being deployed today. How about a quick synopsis of the book and some examples of that real world experience you mentioned? Sure, so the book takes you right through the very basics of just you know firewall security policies, which you'd have to do, network address translation, things like that, the most common services on a firewall, and then takes you up into the very advanced services, the application services such as IPS, the deep packet inspection, app secure, things like that, and then all the way even how to extend the platform of the Junos SRX by doing Junos automation and programming, things like that. So it's really, really just from the basics all the way up all to way up. advanced right. and beyond. And then and the other um, idea was that we try to document not only, you know, this is how do you configure these other comments you have to take uh, to type, but also here's the reason why things were designed the way they were. Uh -huh. And what are the technologies, what are the problems we're trying to solve and the way that Juniper has solve them. So the user gets a real comprehensive understanding. Right. That makes exactly. sense. That, and who would you say the target reader is for your book? Well, normally network administrators, people trying to deploy uh, Juniper uh, routers, and hopefully also people who try to understand how technology works, mm -hmm. at least in, uh, as its respect to uh, security. Absolutely. And it's even applicable to architects who may never configure the device, mm -hmm. but just need to understand how the platform would work and how it could fit into their network. Right. And that way, when they need to make the decision of what do I use, they can understand how it would work in their network for when they actually need to deploy it or purchase it. You guys obviously work in the field. You've written a book about it. What would you say sets Juniper apart when it comes to security? I think it's the fact that we can merge multiple technologies in one device. So um, we've, uh, NetScreen did a fantastic job at implementing security and firewalls, and it was confined to the places where you deploy firewalls. Um, Juniper developed very large scale routers, uh, down to the smaller routers, and we merged those things in a single platform. Mm -hmm. So that improves a lot of things. It's starting from the communication of those devices and how you coordinate the uh, defenses um, to the set of features that we can provide. It's amazing that you could even take the smallest Junos SRX platform and see the fact that it has 90% of the features that even the largest platform would have. And the, the ability for the company itself to take those technologies and merging together and providing that sub thousand dollar value device, but it can do the features that you know the highest end multi-million dollar device can do. Yeah. So that, that's just a ton of value for the customer. 
Rob Patricio, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. And that's it for this episode. I'm Cara Suboy. We'll see you next time right here on Junos Connect.